Hi guys. All right. We put him outside. He's pretty dry. It's dry, dry. So we're going to do another one. What's your that sponge, babe? Yeah, it's over here. Your oh, okay. So what we'll do now is this is what we're thinking about using for the stem. So it would just be like that on it. And then I I was trying to find my felt because I was going to wrap felt around it, but y'all. I'm going to use this thing as a top and bottom. Put I a rope through it to kind of hold it. I don't know where my felt went, but I know I have dark brown felt so it's, and green. So I was thinking about wrapping the felt around it um, instead of painting it. But I guess we'll do the paint because I don't know where in the world the felt is. So I'm literally probably just going to some of this. Oh wait, I don't think it's open. Hold on. No, it's still closed. Um, onto a napkin on this handy dandy tablecloth we have and then start painting this, uh, this stem real quick. That way it has time to dry and if we want to do a couple coats we can. Um, but that felt it's definitely something I need for the, uh, for the, uh, what do you call it, leaves at least. I'd like to kind of make it cute and put some little leafies on it. Um, so it's in a box somewhere. I'm just not sure what I did with that box. And that's the problem. Oh, you guys, I don't think this is good. Um, hold on. I'm pulling out like dried paint from the top, but I hear it in there like that it's still wet. Um, let me see if I can scoop it out real quick. Okay, so this is the color of the paint. Um, so I just used a spoon from uh, fast food right now to poke it open. There we go. And I got brown paint all over my fingers, but that's okay. I feel like it's kind of watery, and I'm just going to use this little sponge brush to paint it. So I'm just brushing it on, brushing it on. I'm actually doing a really great job, maybe because it's already brown from the cardboard. Oh, just dropped it, y'all. Um, so that could be why, but no, I think maybe if we did one more coat after this, or even just this coat, it seems like it's going to be good, but we'll have to wait and see when we're done with it, what it looks like. So, um, like I said, I need to find my felt because I guess, I don't know. I don't know, maybe we could cut, I have green paint, so we could cut leaves out of cardboard and paint those too. We have enough cardboard, so we could do it. Um, you know, if worse comes to worse, I mean, the leaves obviously aren't a necessity, but you can just kind of make it look a little cutesy. We should do this and sell them. I'd be like, um, why does my unicorn look like a circle? And you're like, what? That totally looks like a unicorn. You guys are tripping. <laughs> It'd just be like this circle with legs and then a little, a littler circle for the head. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is video number four of pumpkin pinata time. Uh, I don't know how many videos are going to be in this series, y'all. Um, at least one more for, um, just kind of when Lucas goes to town and tries to break it. I don't even know if he's going to do it or how he's going to do with it. Because, you know, he's almost two, so he just likes to do whatever he likes to do. And not what we ask him to do. He's like, oh, you want me to, what? No, I'm going to go play with my dragons, which is probably exactly what 
he will want to do, but we're going to be in the back with this, the backyard. So he won't be able to see his dragons in the front yard. But he's going to be sad when those dragons come down. He loves going outside and talking to his dragons. So I think I kind of got it all. Um, I'm not going to worry about the inside because it's going to be glued down. But I did kind of just get the sides where it's cut open just so that... Um, Oh gosh, hold on. Just so that, um, there we go. And then I put my finger all in it. So I'm actually, I think, just going to set it on the very edge right here and let it dry. There's a couple little spots I see that I missed. Yeah, I got this ready to paint these. I'm just going to do the top part. I don't know why, because I'm OCD. If Kimmy's covering it, there's not a point in doing it. Okay, cut these little pieces you out. You want them orange or you want them brown? No, we're going to do Those brown, are brown, like little stem pieces. So this one's kind of got more texture to it. So I'm just going to dab the paint on rather than brush it on. That way it gets in all those little crevices. But I had poked a hole through them because I'm going to stick the rope through the holes and tie a knot. That way the rope goes through the hole. Pinata. That way it holds the weight of the candy. Because we're really not sure how strong this thing's going to be. Right. I mean, if it was just chilling, looking cute, it would probably be okay. But since it's going to be, we're going to attempt to string it up in the tree and let him whack at it then um you know we definitely want it to hold up and not drop on the ground and split open everywhere um but this is our first time so we'll see what happens we're just like i said the important thing to remember about our craft crafts is that we don't know what we're doing and we just wing it so um my advice to you would be, my disclaimer is, oh, don't try this at home. Because, like I said, we're not professional. We just do what we do. Do you need this one to be a little bigger? It's smaller than that one. I just don't want it to, you know what I mean? There, that should be good. It was just like real small, you know? My paint's drying up. I'm going to paint. Oh, one side's flat and one side's textured. Um, are you doing... So you're going to put the textured side up or the flat side up? The textured sides are going to be sticking out. The non-textured sides are going against... Going to be okay, so I don't have to paint the non-textured no. side. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it way easier, you guys. Um, I did go to Dollar Tree and they did not have, um, they did not have gloves. So now I just got to go with our bare hands. Good thing it's just flour and water on there, huh? Oh, well, you're working with the paint now. Thank you for working with the paint. Oh. I got, got injured at work the other day doing with the blower. So I think it's kind of. We're just going to get pain in there. She's so amazing. Well, you told me to paint it, so I'm painting it. <laughs> you can do what I was told, like how I always do. <laughs> that was funny, you guys. That was so funny. That's my oh, you guys, Scam Likely is calling me right now. Yeah, I named that contact name. I don't know why it named it that on your phone call. It's like the number they always use. So I just no. The that. company calls. It'll come up on your phone with your caller ID scam likely. Okay, we got our. Let me show you. We got our. Well, where is it, babe? There we go. We got our things painted. Now we're gonna start with the. Can you move that? No, the the towel thing. Now we're going to start with the pinata stuff. Okay, 
So we got our handy dandy. These were the only kind of soft ones that they had, and they're kind of big, but um, the smaller ones were like real stiff bristle. So um, I think like what we're gonna do is hold on. This started to separate because I mixed it up before I started the live. So let me mix it up again. Okay, I think we're good. But what I'm gonna do is just. I think maybe brush it on where I want to put it. Whoa, but not like that, guys. Don't knock it over. I mean, you can. You just got to get up and maybe this stuff's going to get on your floor. I mean, I don't know your life. Oh, okay. So I do have two right now, but it's not going through onto the second one. So what I'm going to do is... Um, just brush the whole top half first. Okay, we already put this one on, so can I finish it? And yeah, then sure. I'll do it. <laughs> My bad, Gina. I didn't know you had a plan. Let me see. You didn't tell me about your plan. I just came to me. So I didn't want to put that on timer. So I think maybe what we need to do after this, with this layer, is then put a layer, another layer on of it without brushing it on top. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? That way it, um, it doesn't hold the white. Yes, it doesn't hold the white and hopefully it'll be yellow and we don't have to paint it. But no, overlapping is going to be a little tricky, but if we just line it up edge to edge, it might look a little better. Yeah, what we're going to do, because I feel like we're still going to have to paint it because of how the white stuff dries on it. Yeah. And I don't want to do that to all. So that might be a late night mm -hmm. tonight. Looks like um, a pumpkin with calcium buildup on it. Let's right? See. Looks like an old pumpkin. Okay, you ready? Yes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lay this one over where I was before. But I think that might work. It's just a matter of... But, um, so I can still see through it. So I think this will be our last layer. We'll take it outside and dry it, and then I'll just paint it. So however you want to do it, babe. Because I can still see the, yeah. the newspaper through it because it's so thin. Um, let me show you guys real quick. So I put on two layers and see right here where you can still see the picture from the newspaper. So I think I'm going to have to paint it. So what we'll do is we'll do this layer and then I'll take it outside and then I'll, we'll dry it that way because it dried fairly quickly out there. So it doesn't matter if you want to brush it on or whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, then I'll have to, we'll go live a little bit later with painting it. And you know, the good thing about acrylic paint is that it dries fairly rapidly. So it's not going to be a big deal um to paint it it was just kind of the only thing is that we are going to have to paint one side and then maybe tomorrow morning i'm gonna have to do flip it and do the other part because um we just you know unless we want to try to hang it again yeah i just have to get a sturdier thing that's a bit morbid but I think that the best bet's going to be to paint part most of it and then paint the other half a different day. You can cut these if they're too long, babe. You don't have to keep them like. That's okay. I'm just making it sturdy. Yeah, babe. Love you. Love you. So he texted me when I went to go get him from school today and he was like, where are you? Or he called me, sorry. And I was like, I'm parked in the shade. I'm in, he goes, are you in the road? And I said, yeah. And so I got out of the car because I saw him like on the, I was parked a little ways away because that's the closest shade spot there was. And so I got out of the car and I was like, I'm right here. I'm right here, Landon. Your mom's 
It's right here. I love you so much. <laughs> Yelling across the parking lot. I like to do stuff like that to him. You know, keep him on his toes. Keep him on his toes. Alright, and for this one, we did have to make more mixture, so I just did, um, what did I do here? One. one cup of water and a half a cup of, um, flour, flour and then one tablespoon of salt, salt. salty roo-roos. And I mean, we're taking it outside to dry, so it's getting a pretty good dry on it. I don't, and we're going to use it fairly quickly, so I don't see it just like, Sitting there molding. I mean, Saturday's Halloween. But, I mean, you know, any precaution I can take is good. So, I just figured I would I would do that. And, um, would be, you know, just a case. Just a case. Just in case. Just a case, guys. Mm -hmm. Just a case. I guess I gotta hold it when I paint it. Yeah, I think, you know, I didn't count on the white of the, <coughs> I mean, unless we try to go through, no, okay, because it's still not going to work, like I said, okay, scratch that idea, because we're still um, showing through, I think it would take at least another two layers of this before, at and that's at least another two layers of this before it wouldn't um, show the newspaper, uh, pictures through it so that kind of sucks I wonder can we use construction paper do you guys know I have probably orange construction paper who knows about paper mache who's a paper mache pinata expert Tommy Sam do you guys know because I don't know let me see if I do have construction paper though I mean I know I have it let me see what the orange is Oh, this drawer is too interesting. Oh, you know what, y'all? I have like one. Okay. Oh, I feel like this is not green enough for the leaves. What do you guys think? It's more like like a lime-ish, like a pale pastel green. Um, two Eastery. Two Eastery. What was I looking for? I don't have any orange, you guys. Does construction paper not come in orange? So, oh, right here. I don't think that's orange enough. Like, I want to, is that orange enough? No. No, my husband says it's not orange enough. Is that we want it like this orange? I feel like that's pumpkin color. No? Mm, maybe. Landon, what? is this oh well, is this orange enough? We're gonna get an expert opinion right now from the guy who says when I ask him how I look, I'm not a clothes expert looks, for a pumpkin. It's like a light orange. So do we want it more like this or do we want it more like this? It doesn't matter. It's a pumpkin. But I feel like it's still going to be white. So I think we're going to have to paint it no matter what. What do you think? Yeah. So I guess, guys, the, the lesson we learned from this is uh, it doesn't matter if you use the orange crepe paper or the color crepe paper for the thing that you're making because you're going to have to I'm sure paint if you it use anyway. Like five layers of it, it would be good. Right. I mean, it's just so thin and then when it's wet and all that stuff shows through. So, um, I don't, I just don't think we're going to be happy with it. It's not going to be like orange. We're going to see all that stuff through. And I mean, we've come this far. We don't want to just. Well, we'll see how it does because it looks like it's not as bad with brushing it on. It like wipes. Yeah, and then the up. white stays on, like shows through from the glue. So that's kind of a. We'll see how this one does after it's dry. That's kind of a deterrent too because we don't want that white on there. We want it to be orange. Hold on, one of my bristles came off on the pumpkins. There we go. 
So, what we've learned from this is we will have one more live of pumpkin painting. Um, because either way, you can still see the, the stuff through it, you know? So there's a whole spot like right here. I don't know how we're doing on that side, but I'm just going to do like this here. Is that okay? Yeah. Trying to cover like this whole thing right here. I'm going to do it like that. That way it covers that whole spot that was missing. So. My OCD wants to put it straight up and down. Um, instead of like sideways like this. Working on it, you guys. Maybe that's why Lucas groups stuff together. Maybe he has a tiny bit of OCD like me. Like all his red Legos. But he grouped his fish together and they were different colors, but they went to the same toy. Yeah. And his animals, he doesn't have two of the animals. Like you would think he would if it's Noah's Ark, but he only has one of the an each animal. And he puts them together because he knows that they go to the same toy. So, I think he's just being a toddy toddler and grouping them together. And he is napping right now, so you won't see him running wild like you did in the last video. Um, yeah, he's definitely a boy. He's just wild. He just wants to do what he wants to do. He wants to run crazy. Oh, and he did take him outside this morning for a while to play on his stuff while we while I went and got Landon from school. And when he came in, he, he's so clumsy. Um, so Kenny said he tripped a bunch of times and fell in our backyards, mostly dirt. Um, so his face was pretty dirty. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It was pretty dirty. So I just wiped him down with a wipey and called it a day. He'll have a bath later tonight, and it'll take care of all that dirt. I put him in some pants that I don't like them, so I don't care if they got messed up. <laughs> I was like, oh, I do not like these pants on you. They just look weird. I don't know, like the legs were super wide, and that was weird to me. So, but I did have to undo his waistband in him a little bit because I have an adjustable waist. So he's getting a little chunky. So they said that he is in the, the 50th percentile for height and weight for his age. But for his height to rate ratio for his body, he is in like the 75th to 80th percentile. So that's, and that's good. Doing good. Landon used to be in the, um, Landon used to be in the negative 0.04% or negative 4%, one of the two. So Landon wasn't even like on the positive side. He was negative. Um, and they wanted to do, what do you call it? They wanted to do, um, like the HGH, human growth hormone injections but my you know what insurance did not cover that stuff and that stuff is expensive um but i think it was his adhd medication that was stopping him from growing so once we took him off that he's yeah he's uh he's grown quite a bit what is he now big like five four five five Wait, Julie, he said Julia's 5'5", five five and he's not, he wasn't, or he was the same height as her, so he's probably like about 5'5 five five now, but I swear he grows all the time, he's just growing and growing, and he's 17, but his dad said he didn't hit his growth spurt till he was in, oh, hold on, there we go, till he was in high school, so, you know, until he was bad. nearly 18, is it? Okay, this will be our last layer, and then I'll just paint it orange. Because yeah. I don't think we're going to get this stuff covered, like, and it's going to bother me. I still see all these little pictures everywhere. I mean, you can't make them out, but it's dark. Yeah. 
Feels like our pumpkins bruised. <laughs> like somebody, you know, picked him up and then dropped him. Michael, I'm talking to all you people. All you beautiful, beautiful people watching this. Sorry, I just started putting it on again. I'm just doing what I do. La, 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 la. Oh, you guys, this is definitely a labor of love, y'all, because we just, we should have started earlier is the darn problem. Maybe like two days before. <laughs> we should have started last week when we were going to start, but we were like, no, nah, we'll just start next week because I don't know what happened last week. We were lazy. I didn't get up till noon one day. That's what happens when you work till 2 a.m., right? So... Across the top there. Okay, I already put it right there, so you're gonna have to wait a minute. My bad, Gina. I keep forgetting the rules. Girl, I need you to calm down, girl. Let mama do her work. <laughs> My husband's getting bossy on how to do craft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, um, bossy. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure it's done properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to need you to stop, Becky. Should I do it like that or you just want to do it from my side? Uh, do it all the way around. Yeah. Okay, well, I have it like covered on this side. It's overlapping and it's like even better. Huh? So it's okay. Yeah, it's overlapping and it's like even better. Yeah, we're trying to overlap this one on this side, but I don't know how well I did. Can I get the top part for me? Because I'm short. Y'all wait. Y'all wait. I got my step stool. Hi, Landon. You didn't know it was right there. Well, you popped your head up, so <laughs> kind of did. Uh-uh. Hold on, you guys. Even when Kay looked down at me, I was like... He didn't know you were there? No, first. I'm taller than everybody. What do y'all think of that? Okay, are we done with the top? Now we can go this way. Yeah. Guys, you know what? With this step stool, I can see stuff. This thing is so much better. My name is Jen. It's a hard life out here when you're 5'1". Okay, this side you can. Can you guess how tall I am? We were just talking about that. How tall are you? 5'5"? Five, 5'4", five? Five, 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 something like that. Were you as tall as Miss Julia when you yeah. were there? Julia Gulia? Yeah. You were? Yeah. And you said she's 5'5". Five, five. So you have to have been at least 5'5 five, five this summer. And if you've grown any. How tall is Kenny? 5'8"? Five, 5'10". Like five, You're 5'10"? Yeah. Are you? Look at this. Are you sure? Is there a big difference yeah. in height? I think you told me something. No. Are you on your tippy toes? No. Look at how tall he is to you. I'm going to bust out Lucas's. Um, where's the tape measure? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm clearly the tallest in the house. I miss you too. M3 misses me, babe. Uh, hi, M3. How you doing? We miss seeing you. I know. Because he lives somewhere where the weather's nice all the time. Oh, I know. Mm. Congratulations on the promotion. <sighs> I feel like we need, like, I want to sing Winnie the Pooh for whatever reason right now, y'all. I feel like I need that playing in the background. I don't know. Lucas hasn't even watched that in forever, so I don't know why it like came into my head right now either. No, don't play it. <laughs> don't do it. I can't. I can't deal with it right now. I tried to play Black Eyed Peas for Lucas earlier, and he didn't care about them. And I tried to play Outcast. 
and he didn't care. I guess he's a classic rock and heavy metal dude. So, you know, whatever. Oh. You know, and then the kids' songs. Coco Melon. Pink Fong. Dave and Ava. Uh, he hasn't listened to Dave and Ava in a minute. Oh, the stool is going away from me. I got this stuff. Don't you worry about me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had to decorate one of the girls' cubicles the other day. My girl Ashley, she's my work BFF. I had to decorate her cubicle for her birthday the other day. And um, <laughs> I was all, if I stand on these desks, are they going to support my weight? <laughs> and <laughs> um, one of the girls, I forget who I was working with when I did it, was like, yeah, um, Eric was standing on the other day to decorate for whoever else had a birthday, I forget. I was like cracking up and I was like, I don't want to do it. So who came? One of the other girls came and she put the thing on the wall behind the desk because she has long arms and not like my little short T-Rex arms. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Turn it back this way. No, turn it back this way. Oh, stop, stop. But, yeah, so I was thankful because I didn't want to, like, get on the desk. Oh, shoot. And then break my break my leg or something falling off or trying to reach or the desk collapse. Hey, I think we need another one right here. That would have been, you know, a killer for my, um, you know, if the desk collapse would have been a killer for my. What am I? What's the word I'm thinking? Self-esteem. I'm like, why can't I think, you guys? This is what happens when you get four hours of sleep a night. I got five and a half the other day. She said, do what? This looks like it's almost dry. I got... Okay, so I got to bed at what time last night? I think it was 3. I had to force myself to go to bed at 3 a.m. <laughs> Shut up. Because I was watching Criminal Minds. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was. And then I got up at nine this morning. She 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 had to have her brownie and her ice cream. I did. I, I've been cheating on keto, guys, but it's okay to cheat on that every once in a while. Um, you're so good. I was so okay. So here's the story. I was so mad because I wanted my Twix, uh, cookie. Ugh, so I go to Crumble, because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have a Twix cookie. And then, those things are huge. Private number, good luck. I don't even answer for people I know. Anyway, <laughs> those cookies are huge, so it'll take me like three to four days to eat it. But the Twix cookie was really good. So I was like, I'm going to go get it. They didn't have it. They didn't even have one cookie that I wanted. So I ended up just going across the street to Vaughn's, and for nearly the same price, I got two things of ice cream. And some brownies. So Lana wants to eat all the brownies um, right now. Like all at once. She's like, I'm going to have another brownie. I'm like, you don't have one brownie, dude. You don't need four. Like, calm down. But I made me a brownie Sunday last night. And then I watched Criminal Minds. And then a little, our grandfather clock chimed in. I was like, oh, it's three o'clock. So I got to go to bed. Because I got to get up in the morning. Because Landon had his testing today for school so he actually had to be there earlier than normal he normally goes at 11 but um so i got up at nine and woke him up and got ready and we went to school okay i think it's good what do you think that looks pretty good looks good yeah okay, take it outside it is starting to pucker hold on it's even right here I'm going to flip it out there and then I'll go out and flip it in about five You got minutes. it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I was like, where is the good stuff? Oh, wait, I see a darker green for these. Oh, this one will work for these. Yeah. I don't know. This light's really weird in here, but I promise you it's green. I know it looks gray, um, but it's green. I really would have liked the felt. So, I might, I mean, we have time. Uh, I don't need to cut the leaves out till probably tomorrow. So, I'm going to look for the felt first. And if I don't find the felt, we can always use this. Or maybe even, 
I feel like cutting them out of cardboard would be... I feel like cutting them out of cardboard mm -hmm. would be crazy. Like, it's not just like cutting a circle. It's because, you know, you got to do like the, yeah, the zigzags and all that. Um, I almost bought green foam, like the thin foam board at Dollar Tree too right now. And then I was like, oh, no, I have felt. We'll just use felt. And now I can't find the felt. See, I should have bought it. But I didn't. That's okay. Dollar Tree's not going nowhere. So if we need more, we'll just, uh, or if we decide we need it, I can grab it. Um, oh, and update, y'all. It's 327 and no pg &E, So, mm -hmm. so, so. We have till 8 tonight for them to show up. They'll probably show up at 758. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully, I just hope that like they can say, oh, it is your gas pressure or it's this or that. That way, oh, I need to put a little bit more on this. That way we at least know. Let me see if I can put you guys around to me. That way we at least know and um, if we need to do a, get a water heater, we need to get a water heater. Do you guys know? I would really love to have a tankless. Um, we had one at my mom's new house. And it was amazing. So, and it was like so easy to relight the pilot light because it went out one time and I had to like, I had to Google search how to do it. And I did it. This one, when the pilot light goes out, it hates to light for me. I think I got it lit yesterday, but I've tried what? That was like my fourth try at lighting it. And not once has it lit for me. I did try to listen more carefully and I thought I heard it light yesterday. And then when I went to go take a shower, it was, there was hot water. So it lit for me, um, but it's gone out for those of you who haven't seen my other ones four times this month, the pilot light, we've had to go out and relight it. So, um, we've already replaced the thermal couple twice and the gas valve once. So my guy said, well, that's, we've done everything. Like the only other thing is like gas pressure. So we're waiting for pg &E to do that for us and. If it's the gas pressure, I don't know what we where we go from there. Then I'll just let my 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 guy Brian. If you guys need somebody, Brian Hansen. He's awesome. Um, I'll let him know, and we'll just go from there and figure it out. Um, I mean, I guess I could call Reem again and just see where we're at with our warranty and tell them like, look, this is what's going on. La la la. But. Um, with pg &E coming out today, I figured I would just wait until they came out and then tomorrow with whatever, armed with whatever news they give us, I'll call Reem and see what we can do. Because if, I, like I said the other day, we're coming up on where our, um, oh shoot, our warranty is going to be running out pretty quick here. So, um... If we need to take care of it now, but is there any way to get an extended warranty? I think I think the home home warranty. I don't know if that would cover it, oh. but um, like I said the other day, home ownership is dumb. You got to fix your own stuff. You can't just call your landlord and be like, "Yo, my stuff's broken," because you are your own landlord, and that sucks, y'all. She said she, Jeannie said she twisted newspaper and shoved it into the teepee roll. We've had to replace both our water heaters here in two years, but we knew we were going to have to when we bought it. Tax write off at least. Jeannie, did you replace it with a regular one? Or like tankless. Or did you go tankless? Because I want to go tankless. Yeah. That's going to be like a bajillion dollars, I think. Yeah, so, I want to go tankless too. Yeah, I'd love to go tankless. I got brown paint all over my hands now. Tankless would be like, we have both people in the showers doing dishes and washing clothes at the same time, y'all. If we can At the no same pressure. time. <laughs> yeah, our, and then our sink, just like the water pressure decreased on our sink. We won't have any laundry going. Landon's bathroom never had good water pressure. It barely, yeah. 
but our bathroom has good water pressure. The sink used to, the kitchen sink, and then the like a couple of month or two, three, four months ago, it just like decreased. And every once in a while, I'll get that like burst of energy where it has water pressure, and then it goes back to. I mean, it's not like no water pressure, but it's really light. Um, so there's just a bunch of crap we got to figure out with this house. Um, I always say I gave up. I gave up a lot to be where I'm at. I wanted a garage. I wanted a covered patio, a covered back patio. Um, and I got neither one of those things. I do have a gazebo out front. No garage. But we're in Old Town Clovis, so we're super close to all the events. We walk to everything. Um, when we used to go out, like there's a bar right down here. The restaurants are all right down here. We go walk to Old Town and go Pokemon hunting all the time. So um, we're really kind of close to, to a lot of stuff. And this is a good area. When Landon was going to school, he could walk home from school. Um, so I guess... I guess, I guess we could give up some stuff to be in this area. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit more storage in this house would be nice because we have absolutely zero. There's one, storage-wise, there's one closet in Lannon's room. So there's his, like, clothes closet in his room, and then there's a linen closet in his room. And that's, like, it for storage. So um, just storage would be a little nice, too, but... That's all right. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. What do you want to do with this, babe? Just toss it or want to save it in case we need to paint more stuff? Yeah. Just dip in. Do some touches. All right. So I'm just going to throw this actually in here because now that it's like we can't reuse this bag anymore. So. Um, let me grab all of these gloves that we use and throw them in there. This little bag is going to be my trash bag, I guess. Um, this tablecloth that we got from Dollar Tree to put everything down on has really come in handy. Um, let me wipe all this stuff off and show you guys. But this is what it looks like on the tablecloth itself. So it's a disaster. And that's why we put the tablecloth down. Isn't Otherwise that, this would have been all over our counter. Um, it is flour and water, so it just chips off. Yeah, I mean, but still, now we can just, <laughs> which I'm gonna leave it until we paint. Um, leave this up till we paint tonight and then we'll do it so I don't get paint on the counter either. No. So. That will be the next live when, like, let's say it's three, so maybe after dinner, if that's dry, we'll paint one side whenever it's dry. We're going to paint most of it, and then we're going to have to let that dry and flip it and paint the other part of it. We got so, it to dry outside in about an hour, hour and a half. It was like 11.30 when we did it. Or no, it was like 12.30, huh? Yeah, so we might actually be able to get both done. Because acrylic paint dries super fast. You put it outside, it's going to be dry within like 30 minutes. Yeah. So um, we might actually get to get both of them done early-ish tonight. So Hopefully we can get to constructing it. You can, you're the constructor, so you can work on that while I'm at work tomorrow when you get home. Um, do it. I will cut out, I can cut out the leaves and stuff and find my felt and then, um, yeah, that's all we have for right now. So we will, like I said, go live with painting as soon as it's dry. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for the pop. We won't paint it with the balloon. No painting to do. No, you have to pop the balloon and pull it out. Well, yeah, but we're going to paint it. No, it'll, it's already molded, so we don't have to loop the balloon in. Okay, so in fact, after this one, we'll video. pop it. <laughs> I don't want to pop it in the house. I hate balloon pops. Landon hates balloon pops. He probably gets it from me. Luckily, well, they're quick. <laughs> yeah, but they're always like, <gasps> so I don't like it. But yeah, we still got to pop the balloon. Because um, we're just, I don't know why we haven't done it yet. But pop that balloon. Get that stuff going. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to wipe up all the paint that's on here. So, I don't know. Does acrylic paint come out of clothes if you get it on your clothes, you guys? Examining on me? I do not see any. Did a good job. Winner! Because by the next time, this will be dry. I have it all in my hands, but not on my clothes. So, that's winning. I forgot about my bang, y'all. I'm the worst. My energy drinks Ooh, will last me like all day. All right. See you guys in a little bit with the painting of the pumpkin pan yada. I can't find my felt, Jamie, so we might have to go with paper. This is green, I promise. It looks gray. Like, I don't know. It. Oh, my gosh. It looks black now. There's glitter on it. I don't know. I don't know where the glitter came from. Yeah, or maybe I'll run to Joann's. That's my favorite store, but I probably won't. I don't want to spend a bunch of money, so no Joann's. But um, we're going to look for the felt, too, so maybe we'll do the felt leaf cutting on the painting one. All right, guys, see you in a little bit. Bye.